Here's a look at the products I'll be using today. And I want to use the You Did stamp set, which is, for all intents and purposes, a wedding set. Weddings are coming. I know someone who's getting married this summer, or actually, well, it's coming. So I have an idea. And today I've got some Simon Says Stamp Clear and white powder because I wanna make just a really pretty neutral background with this gray cardstock. I think this is, it is from Spellbinders. I can't remember the name. I'll have all of the supplies for you as always linked in the YouTube description box for the video. So I want to get stamping with the pattern. So let's, well, let's start. I'm using my larger Misty tool today because I want to be able to hang things off the edge. And again, I'm not 100% sure how it's going to, well, how it's going to look, but let's get some stamps on here. Now I know I'm going to use a greeting of some kind somewhere in the center. And so, you know, I think we'll start up here. And I'll just place a bouquet roughly maybe there. I guess I could place a few things together, right? And then see how it turns out. Let's come up this way. The idea is just to make a pattern and hopefully, hopefully it will all, it will all come together. Although I don't know, I don't know if I like that. How about rings for those people who like that sort of thing? I don't wear mine right now because my, uh, well, my body's my body's got some extra weight and I'm not going to have my ring resized. I'm sorry. Not going to do it. Just not going to do it. I've already done it once and I feel like that's just one too many times. All right, little heart here. This is actually inspired by a card I saw on Instagram using my set and I will definitely link to that card below because in the description because you should take a look at that because I thought it was so pretty. It made me think I want to make a pattern too. That's what we're doing today. All right, press, get all these things. And you know, the positioning of this won't be perfect and that's that's fine. We're not, we're not too worried about that. Now I've already stamped with a couple of these before on a previous card and I'll be sure to pop a link up right up there, a card. And also I'll include a thumbnail at the end that shows that card as well. Now I'm gonna take my anti-static powder tool from Simon Says Stamp. This is a new tool from Simon, and all it does is it adds a little anti-static powder, and this is scent-free. You cannot smell it, which is nice. We're just doing this all over so that when I go ahead and stamp with my embossing ink, it will stay just, this powder will just stick to where the embossing ink is. So, liking this tool a lot, but I don't wanna to touch this again, so that's kind of the key here. I'm gonna take my Simon Says Stamp Clear ink and I'm gonna ink this up really well. And then I think I'll just fill in wherever the pattern allows me to fill in. But again, I'm gonna try not to handle it too much. We are in the corner, we're coming down and I'm gonna take my little stamp press tool. I'm actually gonna stand up. I sit when I craft a lot. I used to be an exclusive stand-up crafter, meaning scrapbooker. Back when I scrapbooked, I could have never sat because I couldn't ever see what I was doing. And sometimes I think with a project like this, I need to put more pressure to really let that ink transfer. Let's lift it up. And one of the things I love about being on a cardstock like this is you can actually see the pattern, right? And I don't need to sprinkle anything on this now because I'm going to keep building out this pattern. So I think what I will do, I'm gonna flip it. Maybe, maybe just pop it right about there. I do need to wipe this down because I'm gonna place more things here. And I wanna make sure they're dry before I place them down because I don't wanna transfer any more water or ink. This is pretty damp or dry. It's damp but dry if that makes sense. We're just going to kind of repeat the pattern to the best of our ability. Again, I'm going to place this. I'm just going to go like it does. I'm just going to go like that because I am going to trim this down. So we'll just, you know, we'll just say maybe there. Okay. Knowing they'll probably get cut off and this one I'll just sort of nest in there. 
it's just pattern making, you know, and it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just kind of going upside down every which way but loose. How many people remember that movie? <laughs> Was it Clint Eastwood? And he had the ora orangutan? <laughs> okay, here we go. I love throwing out randos. Okay, every which way but loose. I remember that. Clyde. Wasn't his name Clyde the orangutan? You gotta let me know in the comments. And I think there was a song, Every Which Way Blues, but I can't, that one is on the tip of my memory right now, so I might be wrong there. But I, but I think I'm right. Like BJ Thomas or someone like that. Okay, paper didn't move, so again, we're gonna bring this in and transfer. I'm gonna stand up here, really put that shoulder into it. And I don't know if I need any other pattern part on here, but the beautiful thing about this is embossing ink stays damp. And so it's, well, it stays damp, stays sticky. That sounded kind of weird. And so this is gonna be just fine. I'm gonna trim, so I'm good to go. Fine detail white powder. Let's sprinkle this on. And hold on here, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't see. I had the wrong glasses on. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, we're just gonna sprinkle this. And this is the Simon Fine Detail White. It's probably my current favorite white powder. I use it all the time. And because I'm not doing any ink blending over this, this is just to get the nice little white pattern. I'm just gonna let that sit. And then we'll just let it slip off. Sometimes I just take a, my little, what is this, brush? And, oh, look at that. Now this is why we like anti-static powder. Look at how clean that is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's good. I don't need to do it again. We're gonna set that there, and now I'll just funnel this back in. I don't have any fancy thing for my powders. This is just what I do, because it's quick. And it works pretty well. I have the Wow embossing tool. I like it because it has the two speeds. And all I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna tilt this a bit and zoom in for you. I'll get this preheated. I don't think there's anything that needs to be dusted away. I think it's great. I think it's all melted. I just made a pattern. Isn't that fun? It's just very simple and very elegant. So I am going to start thinking about my greetings. So let's, let's get back to the stamps. I have some Nina Solar White Classic Crest in the 110 pound. And I think I'm actually just gonna stamp a couple greetings. Now I like to do this because Sometimes I'm not 100% sure what I want on a card, and sometimes I'll do it, you know, just get a bunch of greetings at once, decide which one I like the best. Now there is a die that goes, it's designed to work with this. It says you did, but it's a stacked word and shadow die, and it's taller. I, I just wanted to keep this with stamping, so that's what we're gonna do here. I have some ultra fine silver and I love the idea of silver and gray together. So again, we're gonna anti-static powder this up. Let's get our embossing ink again and ink these up. I may stamp this down twice just because I haven't used the other two and I just want a really nice coating of my ink. Okay, let's do that again. All right, paper did not move, and so we transfer. Before I use my powder again, I am gonna take my Swiffer cloth and just go over it to pick up any of the white powder that may have stuck, because that happens, right? Not all the powder comes up and out, so I like to try to remember to do that, just so that I have a clean little sheet to work on and I don't 
contaminate any powder. So let's bring in the Simon Ultra Fine Silver. Sprinkle that on. Okay. Looks good. Where's my, I do love this because it's like a little, ooh, that looks good. And again, this is what I love. The powder just falls away. So if you have issues, be sure to check out an anti-static powder tool. It makes a huge difference and it will, it will make you happier when you're stamping and embossing. Got them all, and now I have three shiny silver greetings, and I'll go ahead and grab the dies for these. All right, we're just getting all the dies lined up. It's pretty easy to do, and taping them into place. And it's nice to have some extras, right? Because then you can make more cards, but then you have choices too. I love to have choices when I'm creating, so let's put this here. I'll get my plate on top. And we'll cut this out. Ooh, that's some good cracking. I probably could have angled my sentiments a little more, but pop you out, pop you out, and pop you out. And these, see, they're very easy to line up. I always like to design my dies and stamps with a little more of a generous margin. So now it's time to trim our other panel down. So we have my panel and we're gonna cut this down. I also just had a thought. So I have designed also some sentiment strips that are designed to be for wedding as well. Now recently in a video, I foiled a sentiment strip and it looked so stinking good and I may, I may have to do it today. I don't know yet, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, this is probably my favorite size, and this one is three and a half by four and three quarters. This is a size panel that I love, love. Oh, we got that on there. It's a lot of tape on it because I use it all the time. But really, I just kind of want to get a crop that has most of the things in here. See that? We've got the clinky, clinky cups, and then we can look at... Maybe we do Hello Marital Bliss. I feel like you did might be nice though too, because look at that, you did. And then underneath you could do any of the keep saying I do, congratulations, so many options, or best wishes. Now, I don't know, you know what? I'm gonna set these aside, because I also have an, a secondary idea for this. It's either gonna be you did keep saying I do, or it's going to be I gotta think about this one. I gotta think about it. Let me let me pause this for a second. I don't have to decide this just yet. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and trim out my panel for my card. See again, it's it's so fun to have options when you're creating, right? Don't get married, pun intended, to any one greeting or you know, piece, just you know, play with it a little. All right, let me go cut this out really quickly off camera. All right, now I have my beautifully trimmed panel and I need to think. So let me, I might cut a few of these out and bring my mink out. You know, I mean, here's the thing. In this in this stamp set, I could do keep saying I do, but I, I don't have a die for that. Now, if I do this keep saying I do, it would be easy to foil that. So you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it with my mink. I am going to use one of my Simon Says Stamp sentiment labels to cut out the keep saying I do line. Let me go do that real quick. These are printed with toner based ink, which means you can foil it. So I can lift this up. All right, take this tape off. And now nothing will be harmed, right? Because this tape doesn't, it rarely tears paper. It's pretty, pretty solid. 
And now I have a little strip just like that, perfectly cut. And I'm gonna trim this down and then we're gonna foil this. First things first, gotta trim this down just a little. I'm just gonna do them both, you know, why not? Just, just do them both, have some fun. My mink is heated up. I guess that'll be good right there, right? Yeah, that's fine. And trim. Let's make sure those look mostly. Yeah, that's fine. I have a little carrier thing here. This is some parchment paper and inside, okay? Inside I have one, two, three pieces of Nina Solar White Classic Crest cardstock. Why, why so many? Well, I find that when you're foiling, a little extra pressure from basically creating shims, right? is going to do you wonders. All right, so we're gonna take our little, little guys like that, little guys like that, and I'm going to cut, I let's see here, I do have some silver, yep, silver deco foil, got a little piece here. I'm going to, well, maybe I'll take these scissors. Just gonna cut a little piece, don't need much. Oh, there you go. That's my piece. You wanna put the shiny side up, right? Close it like that. Now, make sure it's still lined up. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run it through the mink like that and let it do its thing. There are a lot of laminators out there. I have the mini mink and I think for foiling toner-based products, it really is a wonderful tool. If you're thinking about doing a lot of that in your future, it's it's a good investment. I've had this, I mean, I've had this from when I was a scrapbooker. I've had this thing for, gosh, 10 years, and I only really started using it when I started baking cards, so there you go. I am not gonna go through again. I'm gonna do the one and done, and if it works, great. And if it doesn't work, well, we're gonna move on to something. Oh, I basically almost missed my foil. Let's peel and reveal. I'll zoom in. Come on now, get in there. It should be fine. I just about missed that one. So I hope they're both good. Oh, they're perfect. It's perfect. Oh, it doesn't matter because I was literally just looking. Now let's see. Look at that. It's silver. It's perfect. Oh my goodness. This is this has changed the way I think about my sentiment strips just because I wasn't foiling successfully because I didn't have enough pressure. But look at that. It's perfect. All right, going to put these things away and we will start to build our card. I am going to make my note card quickly here. I've got my Nina Solar White. We're going to score it at five and a half and that way it will be my typical top folding note card. Right. So here's what we're going to do. Let's pop this down first. And I have some Ulta New foam tape on the back. Like that. And I'm going to stand up here for a second just so I can see what I'm doing. Get my head over for a second and then I will promise I'll move it out of the way. There we go. Probably good to go with that nice margin. Yeah, that looks good. So this is Simon Says Stamp Foam Squares that are a little bit thicker. And this I put on a little thinner that way, right? We're not completely. And I think I'll go up a little more into this, not the dead center. And actually I kind of like that because then you, you kind of fill in that little spot there. What if I did the sub greeting first? You know, might do that. Let's get her, let's get her up. I will take the foam squares off the back or the backers off the foam squares. That made no sense, but I think you know what I meant. I'm gonna take some liquid glue and just put a daub there, there. Oh, I got a little, you know what? Look at that foam square. He's just ever so, oh, that wasn't the backer. There we go. All right, let's try, let's try that again. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna focus on making sure this is in the center, right? We're just holding this down. We're dropping, we're gonna press it right up against. That looks pretty good. Okay, now we know. 
straight as an arrow. Looks good. Now I'll do the same. <laughs> Stay there. Don't move. It's the one thing about the glass board, uh, which I love working on. Really do like this light white board, even though it's not super bright white because my cardstock's bright white, so you can kind of see the difference, right? But it's slippery. <laughs> it's a Get a little bit of liquid glue just for that little wiggle room, right? Just a bead. And now I can place this down right over the top like it was meant to be. And you can see, right, the Y. We're going to dip that little Y descender. That's what the part of the letter that kind of slides down is called, or slides down, that dips down. And that's nestled in there very nicely. Oh, I love I like it. Very fun. Let me grab some silver sequins. So we have our five sequins because we like the number five. Odd numbers are, are our friend. Okay, let's boop it up. And we're going to go glue and boop. A little glue. Boop. Gets higher as you go. The high pitch. Boop. I wonder how high I could go. Glass shattering? Probably not. Boop. And we'll nestle the last one in here. Boop. Back down. Okay. So that, oop, that is the finished card. And I actually think it's really cute. Very simple. Very fun. Neutral. Pretty. But I do want to show you something that I'm going to do next. All right. So hold that thought. I want to create a matching envelope. Now the fun thing is, you know, oftentimes if you're going to a wedding, right, you're, you're literally delivering a gift in person in the card. And so what could be very fun, let's see, I might have to zoom out just a little bit here, to have a fun envelope. So here's my thinking. Here's the envelope. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take some flannel ink, which I think will be a very nice match here. And I'm going to grab my stamps and I'm going to grab the bouquet like that. And what I want to do is just sort of stamp this off to the side and maybe put best wishes on it like that. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I do think having this bleed a little bit and bleed simply means if something extends beyond the border of your contained space, in this case, the cardstock or the envelope stock. And what we're going to do is we're just going to ink this up with flannel, a nice neutral gray. And the cool thing is it's going to reinforce your color palette, right? Because inside you have your nice neutral gray card. See that? Come on. If you miss it, go right back in, and there you go. Oh, it's so cute. I think that's good. I don't want to stamp it again because I want it to be very light. So I'll just clean off that stamp. And now I have a little envelope that's going to match. All right, let's put this away. Now the thing is, I do have, I have both of my things, right? Hello, Mer oh gosh. Wouldn't that be cute just like that as the envelope? I think it would be cuter than best wishes. And yeah, it already has foam tape on it, but you know what? I don't care. I'm going to zoom in here a little. And I am, well, or do I want to stamp it? You know, I'm going to stamp it and I'll tell you why. I want it to be, I want this to be the fun. Pop you here. Get it as straight as you can. Does that look good? I think it's going to be great. It's an envelope. It's going, it's going to get tossed. So let's ink you up with the flannel like that. Bring it down and stamp. Just give it a second to transfer like that. And now I have this and I could write the guest's name, the guest of honor, I should say. <laughs> the couple to be. So now I have a sweet little wedding card and I have this wonderful matching envelope in gray to give to the happy couple. You can find links to all of the products I used today in the YouTube description box. 
If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please become one and I will see you back here with another card project soon. To see another card where I used this stamp set plus another card that you might be interested in, check out the two thumbnails I have linked below and I'll see you in those videos.